Hello once again, friends. John chapter 15, verse 16 says, I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit. Now those are Jesus's words to the disciples. It's a personal message of encouragement to us as well. God personally chose each of us. He wanted us specifically for him. He has a plan for our lives. He helps us to keep going when we think we can't do what he asks. He encourages us uh, when we think we've run out of steam. Psalm 37 verses 22 sorry, 23 to 24, say, The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, the Lord holds them by the hand. And he wants us to be successful for him. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17 says, No weapons turned against you will succeed. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. And that means that any spiritual attacks directed at us or obstacles designed to stop us fulfilling his plan won't work as long as we keep our focus on him. But of course, just because we've been chosen by God doesn't mean that we can go off and do our own thing. Paul said in Romans chapter 6 verses 1 and 2, do you think we should continue sinning so that God will give us even more grace? No, we died to our, own, to our old sinful selves. So how can we continue living with sin? Because when we've been chosen and appointed by God, we can be sure of our position in Christ, even if our condition isn't perfect. It's also why God sometimes allows tests and temptations to come our way. He knows that it'll help us understand that we are dependent on his love and helps us to keep ourselves deeply rooted in him. Because he has an assignment for each one of us and he wants to see us to do our best in that assignment. And when we realise that, nothing can stop us. So why don't you try to begin each day of the week by reminding yourself God chose me. God chose me. Let's pray. We'll say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.